Lomzansin, welcome to Admzansi. Sansa Lags, the face of Operation Dudula, is allegedly no longer part of the grouping after supposedly being chugged out of its operation. According to sources, the fallout with Lags saw him thrown out of the Operation Dudula WhatsApp chat group in recent weeks. There have since been separate chat groups formed by those supporting him and those accusing him of being a traitor. The sources allege that plans are underway to form a political party ahead of the 2024 general elections, giving rise to some friction within the group. A source said the matter has been kept under wraps. He was accused of being a law unto himself. Lux now concerns himself with the work at Soweto Parliament. You might have seen him wearing a jacket written, The People Shall Govern. He no longer wears military style clothes. He said to form a political party called The People Shall Govern very soon. Phone calls and text messages to Lamini were not responded to. Tabani Moloi was also leader of the Pimville Community Forum, which is at the forefront of the residents' fight against Eskom Parkard. Defendant Lux saying he has been falsely accused of unauthorized spending. In his statement, he says, Lux is a leader and no one can take that away from him. For now, Lux is concentrating on Soweto Parliament. He's still doing community work. Those who accuse him of spending 15,000 rand are just lying. Lux has his own money and is worth millions. He has an aviation company and also owns a golf course. What is 15,000 rand to him? He hit praises on Lux, saying he occasionally covered operation to do like expenses such as travel costs and meals for members. As whether Zamini would start a political party, Moloi wouldn't say much except that an announcement would soon be made by Soweto Parliament. Lux rose to popularity after he appeared on TV in front of Maponya Mo during last year's July unrest, saying he had joined law-abiding citizens to guard the shopping center against looters. Operation Dudula was later formed, taking on the guise of an anti-illegal immigration movement and has since launched branches in some of the provinces. His leaders came under fire in recent times, especially from human rights lobby groups accusing them of fanning the fires of hatred and xenophobia. Zanza Lux has reiterated in interviews that he won't leave community activism for politics.